Hello and welcome to this video where I will be reviewing this um, LiPo charger or battery charger which is the IMAX B6AC um, fairly cheap but um, very very good charger um, I bought this from uh, from Hobby King um, so uh, let's take a look what's inside the box it, um, it comes well packed I've used this a couple of times now so we don't have all the package that was in the box when it came but this is how it comes and um, here's the uh, charger of course this is the charger that's how it looks like it's uh, got this rubbery thing underneath so if it gets hot it won't damage the table and also it doesn't slide around so um, that's a neat thing and it uh, got four buttons to press here and input um, oh, sorry output to the battery which plugs into these two and all sorts of balance needs and on the other side you've got a 12 volt power supply if you're somewhere where you only can charge for your from your car or something like that that's what you're going to need to plug in and there's a 110 240 30 volt um, input right there um, and then it comes with a US plug um, which is a bit bad um, or irritating because I live in the EU so I have nothing at all to use this for but this is lucky and um, that they use just a normal normal computer um, power supply cord so I just went down to my basement and found this so not a big deal and most of most people probably got a lead like this already or you can buy something for a very cheap amount that was in there and in here you've got all the um, the leads um, for different kinds of batteries and if you take a look at them here just put this aside um, there was also a manual that when I got it but I lost it somehow uh, and I can't seem to find it but most of it is pretty straightforward so I never actually used the manual um, but the main leads in this um, package is of course this one um, it got these banana plugs which I showed you before plugs right into the plugs here on the side so we got a plus and a minus and then it goes up to a Dean's sort of cable like this um, which I think is well smart thinking because we've got all these type of connectors um, like this that plugs directly into to this one where you're able to, to charge different kinds of batteries depending on what connector is on your battery or what type of battery you're charging but since they're Hobby King almost all batteries Hobby King sells is with an X XT60 connector or the bullet connectors X HXT5 or something I don't know what exactly the name is but the the big bullet connectors for the bigger batteries. I think it's kind of a flaw to, to put this with an Andes, a Dean's connector which almost all batteries doesn't come with anymore. I remember when I bought my little electric brushless car, uh, one tenth scale, for a couple of years ago. That's one with the car FPV videos. If you haven't seen those, go check them out on my channel. Um, this battery followed um, a 6000 mAh hour 2 cell battery and that came with a Dean's connector. So that's, I can just plug directly in and charge it. But all my other batteries, um, different kinds of batteries, 3 cell, 2 cell, um, come with an XT60 connector, all that, um, big bulky uh, bullet connectors, uh, I can't use this one. So I uh, bought this one with me um, when I bought the charger because um, I really thought there was an XT60 connector within the package so that's not why I bought it but 
and I wanted to be able to parallel charge, so I bought this cable um, so I could parallel charge. But that was good I bought it because if I hadn't bought it, I need to buy a connector or somehow solder this differently to have an XT60 connector. So this just plugs in like that, and I can just plug my battery into one of these and then directly into this balance lead here. And I can just plug the power in and press enter. So that's pretty straightforward. And that's the only kind of mistake they've made, if so to say, um, not to include that XT60 connector or the the bulk connector because that's mainly what the batteries come with nowadays. And um, they could just have made um, something like this come out and then. Um, made different kinds of adapters with an XT60 instead of Dean's plugs, that would have been cool. And then just have a Dean's plug as well, because there's still some batteries that have a Dean's plug on it, and still some people that prefer a Dean's plug. Um, but besides that, this is a very good charger. Um, I've used it many times now, and it charges my batteries um, very safely. Um, they are very, very Good balance after uh, after a charge, and they also charge them pretty fast. And that's with the standard charging charging uh, program. Um, if there's also a, a fast charge program, which you'll see in a minute, and um, with that fast charge, um, it's still very very good balanced, and you get your batteries charged um, twice as third the time of the standard. So that's also a neat feature. Um, otherwise, this can, um, yeah, what does the box say? It's microprocessor control, so of course it's, it'll stop charging when when your battery is full. So you don't have to, although I recommend it, but you don't have to to be nearby when it beeps, and it beeps very loud, loudly. So you're pretty sure when your battery is done. Um, and you can also discharge the uh, the uh, what's it called the battery um, with this one um, to the storage if you need to store them for a longer time. And uh, there's temperature sensor so it'll automatically shut down um, if it gets too hot, of course. Um, and there's all sorts of things that you can connect it to the to your computer or anything and I haven't figured out how to do it but the, the box says it on the manual um, It can charge up to 5 amps um, and up to 6 cells um, so uh, 2 to 6 cells so 1 cell batteries won't charge um, it, and it charges them kind of rather fast. I charge this with 5 ampere hours, even though it's a 6000 milliampere hour battery, it's less than an hour to be charged. So that's that's a, a neat feature. And all in all, I think this is a very, very great charger. Um, also got heat sink um, for, uh, yes, for, for cooling. And uh, compared to something like this, um, the Trinity Compact charger, that also comes with a bloody US cable. Um, it, it's very good because this only charges with, I think it's uh, 600 milliampere hours or something like that. Um, what does it say? 650 milliampere hours and 2003 cell. Um, it's a good starter, this one. But for the all round RC guy like me, who's got cows and planes and and fun stuff just to play with. Um, this is the this is a good charger, I believe. Um, compared to something like this, this compact, small charger like this, um, you, you're just able to do so much more with this and, and fly much more because this takes a hell of a lot of time to charge your batteries. Um, so if you just got like me, two cell, three cell, four cell batteries. Um, up to six cells, and um, it's it's a, a very preferred charger. And you can buy all sorts of of other uh, cords. So if your battery's got something else like a, 
uh, as an XT60 or um, some else, some something else, or something other uh, connector. It uh, you can just buy it. Then you can also buy some parallel charging boards that just go out and charge up to six batteries at a time and something like that. So it's a it's a good it's a good battery charger and. Um, for the all-round RC guy like me, um, this is the one to choose because it's both cheap and you can just get so many possibilities to charge all sorts of different batteries. And I also got the, the Echo Pack in my my big one to fifth scale petrol car. Um, it's charged with this cable, so I can also charge that in here. And uh, I mean, it's I think it's a Nikad battery. Something like that, Nemo or Nikon battery, and um, this can also be charged. So you can charge all sorts of batteries. And let's have a look at the optional menu, not the optional menu, but the options menu. Just the menu settings. All right. First thing, you're gonna plug this one in, and just plug these cords in. We're gonna charge this big battery here. So uh, that's why I'm using the Dean's plug. So I plug that in, now I need to plug the power in, so just like that, it comes on, and let me just zoom in for you, so you can see what it says, okay, I couldn't zoom in that much, I hope you can see what it says, and like that, and then right now it's on LiPo charge, but if you just click stop, and you can see program select, you can just skip through all the batteries, and uh, hey, yeah, I don't know how to say that in English, but a battery, it's probably a car battery, something like that. You can also save your data so you can extract them to a computer, load them from a computer, use your setup program, and then back to LiPo battery, Neem battery, and so on. So just skip through that again, and LiPo battery, I'm going to choose that, so press enter, and then you can skip through LiPo discharge, charge, Balance, fast charge, storage, uh, and discharge again. I'm just gonna lipo charge, so press enter, and now it says ampere hours. And I'll proc my battery in, and uh, yeah, something like that. Come on, something like that. Yes. So now my battery's plugged in, like that, and then we need the balance plug, so I'll bring it over here. And let's see, the balance plug is right here. So now it's plugged in. And since it's a 6000 mAh battery, we can skip it all the way to 5 ampere hours and still be within the 1C charge rating. And um, press the press the enter button and it skips to what voltage your battery is and it says free cell and 11.1 volts this is a two cell battery so I'll just skip one down 7.4 volts two cell yes and then you hold the start or enter button in it just sets a beep and it says battery check weight and now it's read or read a two serial so uh, that's that's great Otherwise it would say free cellular or something. And confirm enter, so press enter. And now you can see it's charging with five, around five amperes. And you can see it's a two cell lithium charge. And you can see the amount of time it takes for the battery charger to, uh, how long it has charged. And how many, uh, how many milliampere hours it has charged the battery with what's the voltage and the battery is the overall voltage and if you want the single cell battery voltage you just press the right button and you see since it's a two cell this is 4.05 volts 4.05 volts and it says zero 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 that's the all the four cells that it's able to charge as a sixth cell battery um, and you can press right arrow again you get back 